Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn Daily Energy Reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. So we're going to look at what you may be struggling with. So we have the Death card. It also could be a Scorpio, but definitely that you're having trouble letting something go. We have the Knight of Wands, and that volcano is really sticking out for me. So, trying to move away from that, because that's kind of what that knight is doing, is trying to move away from that. Oh, and then we have the Three of Swords. So, those are the cards that came out for what you may be struggling with or what you may be going through. And I feel that you're having trouble letting go of this Three of Swords energy. I kind of feel like you felt like you were stabbed in the heart, like somebody really disappointed you and somebody that you trusted. And because I'm really, I'm focusing on this right there where the the sword is going into the, the heart there. I haven't really done that before. Or I haven't really been drawn to it, but this time I have. So I feel like possibly for someone, again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't that you feel that you were stabbed like stabbed in the heart and you feel really hurt um and i feel like it's is it something that you keep reminding yourself of is it something that you keep going through your mind is it something that you keep focusing on i feel like it's just kind of like maybe this is you like trying to move away from it but yet it's right there in the background and like you can you still have it on your mind and that you're trying to move away from it, but for some reason you feel drawn back to it. I feel like you're like, I just heard like looking for answers. You're trying to find an answer to the situation as to why this happened. And maybe you're trying to figure out within yourself, how did you let that happen? Sometimes we get frustrated with ourselves and we're like, how could I have let that happen? Why did I not see that? And so it might be different levels of, um, it might be different levels of hurt with this three of swords is because not only do you feel that towards that person, but maybe you also feel that towards yourself and maybe you're frustrated with yourself and you're angry at yourself because you weren't able to see that. I definitely feel that this may be something that you might not be able to find answers to or a resolution to or 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 why this happened and i feel that let's see what the advice from the tarot has to say all right, the Hierophant, which is Taurus, which is definitely grounding energy, feeling grounded, having that faith and belief and that guidance and direction. So let's go with these here. Okay, we have the Wheel, we have the Four of, four of Wands, and we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so that's what came up for the advice with from the Tarot. I feel that... Sometimes when these things happen that we see them as something we're definitely like we're hurt and we're stuck in that negative. But sometimes we just have to realize that these things happen and that maybe it's closing a door because definitely with that death card that represents transformation and change. And that maybe the time was up on this situation and maybe it's time for you to learn new things or to look in new directions or to do new things. And maybe you were putting a lot of, maybe you were putting a lot of weight like towards that person, like you were relying on that person a lot. I'm not saying don't rely on people, but sometimes when we put so much weight into that other person, that if something happens or if something goes up wrong, like we really feel like this kabang with the um, with the volcano, like we really feel this, you know, we really feel shook. And I feel like it's always, I just personally think that it's always good to definitely have those connections with people and feel like you can rely on people, but 
not to a point to where it's unhealthy. And I feel like it's kind of maybe setting those boundaries, kind of maybe this is something for you to see that maybe you've put too much into this relationship or you've, you have these expectations. I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. And my problem was, is that I would put, my expectations were too high that I would put on other people, friends or family members or partners. And my expectations were too high. And that really no one, it was almost like I was self-sabotaging because I put set the bar so high that really nobody could achieve that. And so then I always felt let down, but maybe I was self-sabotaging to have that hurt within myself. So we really have to take a look at, you know, how we're setting ourselves up. Is it for success or is it for failure? And I feel from myself that I was kind of setting myself up for failure because I was putting, I was putting this person way up on this pedestal and that I, you know, and it was just like I had all these expectations and really no one can, you know, be that perfect or be that way all the time. I mean, I can't even do that. So how can I expect that from another person? And I feel like it's for to open your eyes about something. And I, I just feel like this hierophant represents having that faith and belief in yourself and feeling that strength within yourself and knowing that, okay, that if this happens or this goes wrong or this person upsets me, that I still got this, that I can still deal with this, that I still got things under control. Um, I do feel that there's a sense of re release here for you with this page of wands. It's also the communication. I feel like it's communicating with yourself is don't be upset with yourself because of this happened. Like be happy about the fact that this has happened because now you can realize something, right? That when we're always waiting for someone else to do things for us, that it takes away our own power. So now is the time to gain back your own power. I do feel that for some reason, this four of wands represents like setting boundaries with a person, but also like having that connection. So I'm not saying giving up on that, but I feel like it's maybe setting those boundaries within yourself to where you kind of have this balance, right? That's what we need in, in, in relationships or, you know, any kind of relationship that we have is that we have to have that balance where we feel that, yes, I can rely on this person, but I can also rely on myself. It's time for some change with this wheel that has come through for the advice from the tarot is that it's time for some change and kind of seeing this obstacle as a time for change for you and for you to kind of look at things in a different light. It does. I don't feel that it says give up. I don't feel like it's, you know, maybe it's a breakup that happened with you um, between that death and that three of swords like maybe it was a it's a recent breakup or like a separation or something like that or it could just be an argument um especially with that volcano in the background that it could be something where there's a lot of uh, arguments or something but I feel like whatever it is I feel like it's kind of realizing okay is this something that I want to work on is this something that I want to focus on is this something that I feel I do feel that there is a partnership there with this four of wands and that's why I was saying maybe it's just kind of looking at that relationship a little differently um, and maybe setting some boundaries for yourself ones that you feel more comfortable with um energy coming in for you I absolutely love it is a magician and then we have the infinity sign which is individual empowerment and everlasting love and taking back your power feeling like you're not always waiting for this other person or you're not always waiting for them to do something like you're taking control within yourself like you're not waiting for things to happen I feel that too many times people are waiting for this to happen or that has to happen. It's almost like you're making up excuses not to do something because you're like, oh, well, this has to happen or that has to happen and I have to wait for the perfect time or, you know. And if you feel that you've given it time and that you've, like, you feel like this loss of control, like it's time to take that control back with that magician's card. And then we have the Knight of Cups and I feel like it's kind of, feeling like you're ready to go like with that night like he's ready to charge he's ready to move forward he has his cup up in the air he's like let me let me add it you know I, I'm you're feeling so much better you're feeling motivated you're feeling energized you're feeling like okay I feel like things are back under control I feel like things are yeah feeling more stable feeling grounded right with this and you're ready for new things you're ready for new challenges sometimes we have a habit of of focusing too much on the three of swords card and we focus too much on that and it takes up too much of our time i just feel like a big thing is looking at 
what is that time that you're thinking about? What is that time that you're spending doing? Is Are you putting a lot of effort into something that really you can't change or, you know, maybe you you can change and you, you're just procrastinating or um, focusing on negativity. And it's just like, and that happens to me sometimes is sometimes I definitely get too much in my head and then it's like, okay, I got to pull myself out of this. Like I've got stuff to, I need to change direction. I need to, you know, focus on something else or I need to get something done or, you know, I need to be, I just feel like being productive just gives me this sense of satisfaction within myself and this sense of feeling like I'm in control. If there's something that I feel I can't be in control of, then, you know, let me, let me focus on something else. Instead of sitting there and dwelling about something, it's like, okay, well, what can I control? What can I deal with? You know, how can I change my focus? Instead of dwelling on something, getting in my head too much, right? With that three of swords and because that starts to evolve into like shutting yourself down, putting walls around you, feeling like you don't want to get out there. Definitely, I feel that um, having like, sometimes I feel like I just wanna be a hermit and I don't wanna go out and that starts to build on itself. So I really have to push myself to get out there. Like I really have to say, okay, you need to get out there. You need to just get out of the house and go do something. Or that's why I do like my new um, <coughs> um, cashiering job is because it forces me to get out of the house. And definitely working from home, you have that feeling of just kind of being a hermit. And I'm not saying that there's anything bad with that, but I'm saying I know myself, I know my boundaries and my limits is that I can be in the house, which is good, but it also can start turning into a negative for me and that I have to push myself to get out. Well, let's grab some advice from the Animal Oracle. I kind of feel like these two, so let's just go with that. We have Dog Spirit, be loyal to what you love, and Buffalo Spirit, the abundant universe will provide. When you are doing what it is that you love to do, when you are in that happy place, when you are feeling good about yourself and your choices and that you are focusing on positive things, the abundant universe will provide opportunities for you and will provide for you and will bring things in for you. When you are feeling closed off, when you are feeling in the Three of Swords energy and you feel like you don't wanna do anything, you don't wanna to talk to people, that you just want to be in that hermit mode, that you're missing opportunities. And that's why you have to push yourself. Of course, I'm not telling you what you have to do, you have to do what you feel is right for you, but that's like why you need to push yourself, right? And when you're doing what it is that you love to do, even if it's like you have to have a job where you're not really that thrilled about, but you make that time to do those things that you love to do that gives you that sense of satisfaction and fulfillment within yourself and that reset energy, then that helps you get through those harder times and those difficult times or dealing with those things that you don't really want to deal with. And that can open up the doors to say, you know what, I really don't like doing this. So what would I like to do? So let me start researching and looking into making those changes to start focusing on what I would like to do. Let's look at, let's grab some advice from our star dragons. Invention, burning with passion. Invention. For some reason, I feel like that's a new business idea or it's a new career or it's going back to school or invention. Invention is creating something, right? Creating something that is helpful, could be helpful to yourself, could be helpful to other people. And then when you're being loyal to what you love, that you start to get, ex you start to burn with passion, you start to get excited, you start to feel motivated and you're like, oh, this really, you know, I want to think about this, right? I want to work on this. Or I want to make these changes or I want to look into what does that mean? What does that what is that going to do for me? And how can that change things for me? And I feel like you start to get excited about life again. And you're like, yeah, like I'm feeling really excited. Like I want to do these things. I want to get these things done. And you start to have that, you know, burning with passion. And I feel like that's a, that's what we all like to do is to burn with passion. Sometimes 
it's just a little flame. So we have to work on that flame and, and create that and, and bring that bigger. And we have to look at what are those things that are taking away from our flame, that is taking away from our passion and our excitement. What are those things that are taking away from that? And to work on those, to take those away so that they're not putting out our flame or our spark. It all depends on how you look at it and how you see it. And sometimes, like I said, you know, sometimes it's just like you hear the message in the right way and it makes sense. And then the puzzle pieces start to fall in place. We have receive healing. I feel like this one's kind of come out a lot for Capricorn. And I feel like there's definitely some healing that needs to go on here. And healing definitely from this three of swords. And healing with this death card. Because, you know, it's focusing on, you know, not holding on to what is working against you. It's like being able to put something to an end and say, okay, this has got to end. And I'm ready to bring change in. And definitely with the wheel of the wheel card coming in for the advice from the tarot is bring that change in it's hard it's hard to motivate yourself when you're feeling frustrated when you're in this three of swords energy definitely give yourself that time to process that and to work through that but to really go to that place where you feel you have that clarity and you can figure out okay where do I go from here what do I do from here and sometimes it's like you don't know what you want to do, but it's just like do something, like make an attempt. You, if you kind of have an idea about something, you know, is it put your resume out there? Is it researching thing? Is it, you know, whatever that, when you have change, um, when you change some things up, I feel like that gives you the, if you always have a routine, then you're always kind of thinking the same way. But if you have something that kind of shakes things up, it helps you to kind of look at things from a different perspective and look at things in a different way. And I feel like that's what you need to look at this is it's time for change. And what is it that I need to change? <clears throat> we have the whispers of love and we have expressed love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. And then we have have faith, trust your faith in this situation. And that's pretty cool because we had that Hierophant card come out here with the advice from the tarot is having that faith. Um, it's so hard to pick up cards. So having that faith right there. So I feel like that's kind of a repeated message here for you is to have that faith. And with these butterflies, I feel like that represents the death card, which is about transformation and having faith that this challenge that you're going through that it will pass, that you will get through this and that it could open your eyes to being loyal to what you love and burning with passion and starting on a new path and doing new things and just seeing it as, okay, maybe I need to handle things differently because the way that they were, it was going before, it just wasn't working for me. Or are there patterns that you need to break? Are there patterns that you need to change, right? Is it time for new patterns? I've said before that I always feel like for Capricorn, like at the end of the year, because I've been doing these readings for Capricorn for, you know, years. And I always feel like the end part, like September to December is where I feel like Capricorn really transforms a lot and really takes a deeper look into their life and saying, what can I change? And kind of wants those changes before the new year and the birthday, you know, because Capricorns are, you know, December and January and it's like, I feel like Capricorns want those changes. Like it's kind of like the double beginning between the new year and the birthday. So it's like that excitement of that. And I feel like it's kind of setting things up for success for that kind of new beginning feeling, you know, and feeling like, oh, okay, out with the old, in with the new and starting off on the best note possible. <laughs> All right, so we have... The Hierophant, again, so we have wisdom. So it's kind of like three messages now because um, you have two Hierophant, so that is two number fives um, right there. And five is about change and it's about redirection and it's about shifts and it's about stepping out of your comfort zone and it's about kind of making those changes that are needed. And that's just what I feel with this reading is that you know, it's wisdom is like learning from the past and saying, okay, 
Maybe there are some patterns that I need to change. Maybe there are some things that I need to do differently. Um, you know, really taking that hard look and saying, where do I feel stuck? Like, where do I feel like I want to have some improvement? Doing the things that you feel that you can control, right? Like if it's having a relationship come in, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to really get yourself in that place where you're ready to receive that relationship and you're ready to put that time and effort into a relationship, figuring out what it is that you want from that relationship. But while you're waiting, working on yourself and, and, and not sitting around and waiting and you know, becoming overwhelmed by it, but saying, okay, what can I do for myself? Can I start this new business or can I put more effort into my work or can I get my living space, right? Um, in a better place or, you know, can I find that hobby being loyal to what I love, start focusing on those hobbies that I enjoy doing, right? And not just sitting around and waiting for things to happen, but controlling what you can control and focusing, right, that attention because then you're like, before you know it, like it happens for you. You're like, wow, I was so busy, like doing this new hobby. And then I met this person or this person knew that person. And so I was able to, you know, I got this new job or this new opportunity or just like enjoying life for what it is and, and making your life the best that it can be. And just, you know, seeing what it brings in. And just like it said here, the abundant universe will provide. We have deep knowing for the wisdom of the oracle, deep knowing, looking within, doing that soul searching. Um, I also feel like the hierophant kind of goes with that and with the wisdom is looking within and having that deep knowing. And again, not putting too much um, into somebody else's hands, but taking that back for yourself and saying, I want to be in control, right? Driving that chariot, like I want to be in control of my life. I want to be in control of how my day is going to go. And however my days go, I'm going to make the best of the day. And, and I'm going to make the best of any opportunities that may come, come my way. And whatever challenges I may have is, you know, to show myself how strong I am to be able to get through the challenges and to be able to persevere through those challenges and not let those drag me down, right? and to keep that focus and to keep going. All right, let's grab a crystal card here for you to close it out. That one just flipped over. We have rose quartz right there, and that is this one. This one has like a little bit of a sheen um, on it, but this is still a rose quartz here. So love, nurture, and romance. Calling in unconditional love. Um, and that, I feel like that goes with the infinity sign with that individual empowerment and everlasting love for yourself. Rose quartz invokes a gentle yet powerful feminine energy that nurtures and protects your heart. It can be used to attract new romance and to build closer bonds in your relationships. And that could be with that two of that two, that four of wands that had come in under the advice with the tarot is like building those re building closer relationships and closer bonds with those those people that you feel close to. Um, so I feel like the rose quartz is coming in for that too. This opens the heart chakra and heals heartache, grief, and any unexpe unexpressed emotions. So it heals the three of swords that you're dealing with here. So this is helping you to heal that. It asks that you show yourself compassion, forgiveness, and acceptance. And that's what I was talking about earlier is that I kind of feel that it's twofold where you feel that this person or this situation happened and that you're upset about that, but you're also upset about your, to yourself as saying, how could I have let that happen? Or how could I have believed that was going to happen for me? Or like having that negativity towards yourself, but having that compassion and that forgiveness and acceptance for yourself because if you're constantly angry at yourself and you're mad at yourself you're going to look at you're going to look for things that are going to justify that that are going to continue that feeling of feeling angry with yourself but if you're like you know what i i you know didn't make the best choice or decision or i put too much into that situation but i'm really proud of myself for realizing that i need to make some changes and i'm really proud of myself because i'm strong enough to push forward and to make some changes and go in a new direction and learn from, right, have that wisdom and learn from my mistakes and do things differently moving forward. Um, 
Rose quartz also inspires beauty in all forms. Open your heart to the beauty within you. And I feel like that's the biggest thing is being able to love yourself and realize you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make choices that aren't going to work out the way that you want them to. But if you can realize that maybe you're going in a wrong direction or it's not something that feels right to you, if you can see that ahead of time, right, you're seeing those red flags and you're catching them sooner or you're seeing yourself feeling like, okay, I'm in a situation and I need to set some boundaries because I know myself, right? I know that I'm going to start turning negative or I'm not just like for me, like I know that if I stay in the house too long, that I start to shut down. And so it's like pushing myself to get out there. It's like learning those patterns within yourself. Sometimes we spend so much time trying to learn about other people that we need to have that time for ourselves to learn about ourselves, right? To learn about what do we what do we enjoy? What do we like, right? Because sometimes if we're so busy focusing on other people, we're not focusing on ourselves. And sometimes we have to focus on ourselves and, and, and make those choices and learn more about ourselves. And that's okay. And that's important because that makes a healthier you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you the best in your journey and stay positive and stay safe.